Good morning, folks. On Soho, you'll see what looks like lighter colored clouds incoming from the left. It's the Milky Way galaxy. We're aligning at solstice time like we do every year. First large earthquake of the disaster prediction app era was predicted by the app. We'll go over that and climate numbers, but we'll begin over at spaceweathernews.com. Finding the last 24 hours on our star was settled and steady. Very calm as the coronal hole turns through, and in comes that plasma filament we mentioned yesterday. No solar flares as the sunspots are not large or complex. Interesting to note that the southern departing group is reversed polarity with a negative lead, so that cycle switch is at hand. The solar wind arrived as expected, but barely, and just in the last few hours. We will be monitoring for intensification today, as so far there are no geomagnetic disruptions from the stream. Well, folks, it's time for another global climate update. As always, we'll show you the ones that circle the internet first, as opposed to the really telling charts with accurate temperature representations. Okay, so notice the blank area over South America. Interesting because another of their maps, one that traditionally deletes cold from it, shows record cold in that region, with no data in the previous one. Same group of scientists, same data, by the way. And finally, the real chart. Look at all the blue that was deleted from the percentiles charts. Folks, this is the real one. Link is below. We've got a volcano eruption reported by pilots in the Aleutian Islands of Alaska. Apparently, the cloud hit 34,000 feet. Much scarier is Campi in Italy. Forget Etna, Stromboli, and even Vesuvius. The volcano responsible for the largest eruption in Europe in the last 200,000 years is rising up from below. Eyes on that for sure. So folks, the Disaster Prediction app came out yesterday for Apple and Android, and here was the first alert map available for those who got it. Android users get this by going to their menu. Apple users click the globe at the top of the Quakes page. The Indonesia alert was a hit 17 minutes after the day turned and winter began in the north. But truly, folks, this is the spring of earthquake forecasting. If you didn't read that paper I wrote and showed you in yesterday's news, I'll repeat that if you can do binomial probabilities like for flipping a coin, you can use that to prove earthquakes are predictable. And it says December 21st as opposed to what you saw yesterday, December 19th. That's because we added yesterday's quake in there. If you came here yesterday, that said 77.7. Folks, the benefit of having open access and control over self-publication is that the document can be alive and updated at a moment's notice, like for if, say, we predict another earthquake. Quickly want to remind you guys that our second book is out as well. The links are found at our website, and of course, get the Disaster Prediction app. It's out for Apple and Android. We will have a tutorial video on the app coming out later today, so stay tuned or check back in after work. There is more coming today. It's 425 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.